but they take the morph mm. and that's going to be uh, a pretty safe cool. lane it's like a similar hero to the anti mage in a sense uh like how you play the map and stuff and then like being this like hyper carry versus the medusa but you don't have to worry about the break being an issue right it's our first morphling of the qualifiers uh total so including south america we've not had a single morphling yet which is surprising it's been banned a couple of times i believe but not yet come up let's get some interesting uh abilities here copying the uh earth spirit never hurts right you know a yeah. couple of cheeky things you mm -hmm. can do i like to copy the viper as well that's a good copy mm -hmm. yeah yeah sure. breaking poison attack yeah that's always good there isn't like an ags hero that he can play with right now though um which you know obviously you don't have to do but I feel like sometimes can be a nice little addition, whether it's the Willow or like a Shaker or something like that. Um, yeah. The Medusa Rags is not as good as it used to be, but it is good. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, what what do you do as the Morphling, though? That is a good question. Like, do you actually take a, a hero here that fits? Because this would probably be an offlaner, but I don't think there's any like broken offlane heroes with uh, with Morphling. And then your other option would be to make this a uh, an Abba 3, but laning into a Witch Dog and a Medusa. King. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's nice. That's a good combo. They're going to ban out the Mars. No. Clearly expecting this Abba to be a support, which is fair enough. Looking for that offlaner ban on Hellraisers. Whereas Navi are continuing their rut of banning mid laners, convinced that this is an offlane Viper, which to me, I think, looks likelier and likelier, would you say? Ah. Uh... But I guess it just depends. I'll have to see what Navi pick. Like that that is the benefit, right, of having that flex. I would yeah. say most likely probably because it's the Viper versus the Invoker and that just feels good, but maybe there's gonna be some reasoning that they want to send the Viper to the sideline. I think you're leaving a lot of value on the table by not banning Doom right now if you're Navi. I think Doom looks really good against this lineup. They banned the Dark Seer there. That would have also been a sick one with the freaking Morphling and having the Ab illusions good, but I personally think that Doom looks really good. Uh, for for Hellraisers. To be honest, I guess he's hard to too. lane, though. Yeah, you know? I guess Na'Vi's feeling is was that apart from the Darks here, if they leave their offlane pick till last, Hellraisers will ban out all the offlaners anyway. Right. So they don't need to ban out the offlaners. That's fair. Uh, and they can just ban out the mids they don't like. That's fair. Moving into their last, their last pick. Presumably that offlaner. We've still got no axe has been banned. So we've still got Centaur. We've not seen a lot of Centaur. I like the Sand King. I, I think it is a pretty cool uh option for later on. Uh they could also just go for something a little bit more like patient and uh like team fighty to combo up the invoker, like the Tide Hunter. Uh, again, isn't too bad here. This is not mm -hmm. I mean, I guess you're picking the Maledict is the problem though, right? So like typically versus Witch Doctor, you want heroes that uh can either just like escape from the situations like like pucks or whatever or uh, so, something that uh, won't just get comboed 100 to zero but it's also a medusa mm -hmm. so it's kind of hard to like guarantee kills using it DK what about as timber well. still in the pool hmm. that hero has been ignored that's interesting there you go. Yeah, there you go i i, I was... do think it works better with their lane I was wondering, like, if, if this wasn't an insta pick by Hellraisers, then I felt like Navi was taking whatever it was that was theirs. I feel like they were, like, super prepped for it. And now they're going to go with the ET. Yeah. So is this going to be the Rezo ET? Uh, yep. Oh, man. You remember I said this yesterday? I was like, I yes. feel like the Rezo ET, they're going to switch it up and it's going to lose. Oh, no. Yeah, but this is good. It's versus the Morphling. So it's the same logic as the Terrorblade, right? Like they picked it after the Terrorblade last time, and now they're picking it after the Morphling because he relies so heavily on all that base damage. And you definitely don't want to doom him. I, I feel like well, that's not really worth, you know? Yeah, well, lots to come in this final game with one of these teams going to be dropping down to the lower bracket. It's a big match for everybody involved, and I'm sure the players are as revved up as our casters will be in about. 15 seconds. I'm going to head off and I'll leave it to you guys. Well, here we are. Game three. And not it's revved a big up one. yet. You're not revved up yeah, yet. I don't, have a, I don't have a watch on, actually. This doesn't really work. No, it's not revving time. No. <laughs> okay. I'm revved up, man. I'm ready for this one. Mm. Are you kidding me? We've got ourselves. It's been 15 seconds. Well, you know, All right. that's fine. <laughs> I see. Okay, I see what you mean now. I got gotcha. you. It took me a second to get there. Dude, I don't know. The, the offlane ET, 
I feel like this hero is so valuable in like the support role and then it just feels so underwhelming when it gets to core. A am I crazy? Am I wild? Do you think I'm wrong? Uh, I would say a couple things. The eggs is super strong this game because a it lot is. of their stuff does not go through BKB. So getting that through the core build is going to be really valuable. Of course, then that's when the doom also becomes a little bit more valuable mm -hmm. um, versus you. But uh, everything with the Medusa is all about like amplification. Either you get like an invoker of your own and, and you go for these uh, these big plays of just like buffing her up or you utilize auras like this. So uh, it's pretty strong. Their initiation okay. game is probably the weakest part they rely right. on spirit stomp or Zayas just hitting good rolls this whole time yeah and i mean it's it's hard to just set that up sort of like on command as well uh we did see him struggle a little bit in the game the other day they still were able to come out with the victory in that one um again that was sort of a different situation because it was with the brood mother but it's something to watch for uh we'll see how they do I, I can't help but wonder if they really wanted that doom though. Um, and, and Navi sneaking it away. Um, sure, laning problems, but here is really good. And it's been first phase banned pretty continuously. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. Um, and we'll see if no one can have better sort of results than Lorenoff nice. in this mid lane against the uh, Viper. That's going to be one to watch. Yeah, that is definitely uh, going to be a real uh, pace setter for this game here. We'll see if they can fix that. But uh, this is, again, one of these heroes that Ramsey's uh, first started playing, even in the safe lane when he was still a carry player. He used to play the safe lane Doom and safe lane Beastmaster as uh, sort of an off lane style as well, kind of the way where he made his name in the scene uh, with, th with these interesting builds. So definitely a hero that he's very familiar with. Absolutely. So we saw there some wards placed down early. Uh, didn't quite see who it was that placed theirs down first, but I think that it was... <laughs> uh dire that's since we're in afterwards oh that's pretty good that's, that's <laughs> not bad well well done artists well done i like it yeah yeah but yeah they're uh they're ready to get going here we do have Seneco hiding out to the side already has a uh, orb of venom ready to go and he's going to try and see if he can sneak that bounty run away as again have a little bit of lag hopefully that gets resolved in just a moment all right, so what are our lane setups going to be here? How will the... Oh, Lil is bringing the Witch Doctor down bottom, maybe? Is that what we're going to do? We're going to stick with this? Nah. Science is surely going to come back, right? I don't know. I, I mean, the thing about it is then you... If you have Zayat's top, then you have melee and range together in a lane as opposed to a double melee lane, which might be better. Yeah, with uh, Seneca having the um, the Abba too, right? With like the orb and then probably going to take the curse. I think this would be the better setup. I guess my only concern would be, will that be giving a little bit too much for the uh, the Doom? Maybe for the first couple of levels, he doesn't really have the damage to punish though in combination with the Lion on someone like the Earth Spirit. And uh, whereas G will have the poison attack, so the damage is kind of ridiculous. You can just like stack it all up. Yeah. Because uh, it looks like... Kuman might even sit mid potentially here. Now, surely, surely Young G's gonna stay mid. So yeah, it'll be the Medusa and the Earth Spirit up top. Young G will take the mid on the Viper. I'm just spitting all kinds of nonsense right now, forgetting <laughs> where my heroes are going. Let's watch some Dota 2. Perfect. Love to see it. Great start. Trade off I'm, there. I'm awake runs. now, guys. I oh, found the... the Mate Mate. Nice. Way to do it. Uh, Lil is actually just staying over here, coming over towards mid. Hoping to find somebody. He's going to drop down a sentry ward. Thinks that there's a ward there, but it turned daytime. That's why that went up. That's why I was able to see you. Not because of the ward there. That's uh, kind of frustrating. A little bit annoying there, but uh, yeah, Lil will make his way down to the bottom. So yeah, my concern is definitely top lane then. Right? Earth Spirit and Medusa. This, this seems a little bit rough. Ramsey's with the instant guarantee on the range group of the Devour. Very nice. But uh, yeah, this is uh, even as a ranged hero. This can still happen if you don't respect the Abba. Oh, Snakeo. Oh, my Forks God. Forks out the heal level one, and he might still get it. Oh, he wants to so Dude. bad. Dude. No, it's not worth it. This guy is strong. And that, that like, uh, stops all the aggression that you would have wanted to put on early. Maybe they didn't want to anyways, but it's something to watch for, for sure. Jeez. Well, it just means you can't do anything to level three now. Yeah. Uh, or, sorry, you can't do anything at level three, because when you're level three, you won't have the two points in Maledict. So now you have to be level four before you can even, like, go for a real kill in Snakeo. Hmm. So frustrating Same time. Stuff. Yeah, he can just like camp in the wave with Rezo though. So you just have to adapt to what you've done now with the skill build. So it's not the worst thing. Right. 
Well, and we'll see. Maybe they can still control this lane with pulls and stuff like that. The camp wasn't actually uh, blocked out. Or maybe it was, and then they were able to get the D ward. But regardless, it will be spawning again at the two-minute mark, barring Seneco coming over to contest. So that'll be something good to watch for. Yeah, I'm trying to keep an eye on no one here in this mid lane. He's looking pretty good so far, utilizing the cold snap uh, to guarantee he gets the range creep and the young G can't get the deny. So that's always good. And uh, so far, the last hits are fairly even. But of course, level three is where you think young G's going to put a lot of pressure on. Just going to have to watch his mana. Just going to keep it as high as possible to just keep the spam up. Yeah, no one forced to go on over and pick up that water rune just to try and heal a little bit. Uh, and meanwhile, Young G, I believe, has his bottle coming out right now, but he won't be able to. I mean, we'll see. He might be able to just force no one back, and then he can get the refill afterwards, too. As down bottom resolution, still farming quite well. Actually, highest CS in the game so far. Able to definitely out CS this uh, this V2 Morphling. Yeah, you can see the difficulties whenever he walks up to the lane, right? Because uh, he has the early point in the aura, and it's going to do a lot of work. Absolutely. As Resolution turns, wants to get some extra damage. You can see Ramsey's uh, keeping that pressure on, but they're uh, able to pull this wave back again. And this is now Vtune who's going to have to come up and contest the wave a little bit closer to the dire side. Um, but as you mentioned, not having any points up in the Maledic means they can't really uh, do that much to the Morphlane. No, not any real concerns here between like the shifting things that you can do and some extra regen being handed around. VT will be just fine. We'll slow down here. Ramsey's turning now on to Zayats. This Earth Spirit wants to roll away. Not going to happen. Ramsey's draws first blood. And now Cool Man uh, also going to take a nice little chunk of damage here. So you, you mentioned the problems that this lane has, and we're already seeing it. Yeah, it looks just depressing. Like, I, I don't really want to be here if, it's a, if I'm an Earth Spirit. <laughs> like, you're basically playing five Earth Spirit right now, right? Yeah. Uh, there's a reason why this isn't what you usually do. Uh, what can you even do? You're level two. I guess level three, you could take a second point in the Boulder Smash and try and go for a kill. Right. But Lion's also gone for a 1 1 1 build. So if Roger gets his mana back up, you won't even be able to do that. Well, in the mid lane, no one's been able to make a bit of a life for himself here. I remember at this point the other day, it was like, I don't know, the Invoker had like three CS or something crazy like that. He's going to come on in and deny the water rune. Well done. Uh, and Seneco picks up the bounty rune too. So this is now Young G completely out of resources. That is uh, yeah, he's crushing it. well played. Good stuff from no one. Yeah, no one can try and hold the lane for a little bit now too and just uh, deny back while the Viper is gone. Give himself a little bit more of an advantage. Very well played. All right, so his early rotation should go pretty well. And uh, then we just look to Ramsey's getting the Doom. And Ramsey's sitting with the Ice Armor, too. So how are you ever going to zone this guy out at this point? Yeah, he's perfectly fine. Super comfy. He's got no concerns. 40 mana? What a spell for a Doom. He's got no mana. He needs that one. Right, so we oh, get there we go, though. Roll in. Nah, there's no yeah. way we can get Roger here. Kuman just has to oh, back okay. out. He knows the Doom is coming. Yeah. It was a lot of damage, though, because he went for the second point in the boulder smash. And he's going for that bounty rune, though. Very good. Okay, okay. Very nice. Trying to get towards that urn as quickly Ooh, as they're, possible. They're baiting him here. Okay. And, yeah, it looks like they're going to be able to get the roll down onto Roger. In some trouble. Throws out the stun. Wants to get the deny. Not going to happen. Young G picks up the kill. So, a good little rotation in there. Oh, Space. Uh, Kuman just getting some under the tower as well, so easy farm there. Keeping pretty even with Rezo and uh, and Ramsey's here. So Ramsey's just top that chart there and again feels super safe thanks to the ice armor. Ooh, and, oh, bomb. we got Roger hanging out mid, predicting this gank. Gets the catch back. Nice little kick. Can they do enough damage? The hex is there. No one is going to get caught for the kill. So Young G picks that oh, one up. The, the sentry. Yeah. And under the tower for the ghost walk play there. That was I, sick. That must have been thrown down before he died. Yeah. Really well Damn. done. Why it's the gamer. Well, and with that, two to two so far. Things looking pretty solid across the board, I would say, uh, at this point for both teams. Nobody's like completely pulling ahead. Some of these lanes are going worse than others. Um, but I guess the biggest one is with that death. Now, you know, Young G has an opening here potentially with level six if he wants to just keep that pressure on. 
I think uh, the big marker for me will probably be the 10 minutes uh, when the Tome comes out because we have double uh, killing support duos. Uh, all right, well, I guess maybe not so much the ABBA, but honestly, Lion can just do it with any core. That's sort of the power of Lion just because the overwhelming damage of the uh, the Finger of Death. But uh, Witch Doctor, another hero that uh, can kill pretty much anyone with Death Ward and Maledict. So uh, they can kind of pick their targets and see if they can uh, take the lead, you know? Oh, yeah. In the XP and the gold. Um, good ward gets he warded there by Roger. Well done. As he is not building tranquils <laughs> with his wind lace. So no, thank you. Doesn't need it. Um, yeah, so interesting stuff going on right now. It feels like Cool Man's had a pretty good time for himself. Doom is definitely up there as well. Uh, as more and more pressure is starting to be put towards mid, Roger, ooh, gets silenced. Nice play there, but able to make it work afterwards. Tons of damage out, and they get the kill. And now bringing in this Witch Doctor, they have enough damage, though. With only Zayats here, they get the Maledict off. A couple more right clicks, but the stick up, the living damage. Uh, kind of their stun, too. Yeah, they can just can cut behind. come back in again. Why not? Snake goes there. He's got all the save. Where's the rest of the team? Hellraiser Yo, has go, nobody to rotate in, and Navi punished super hard. Earth Spirit can't leave the lane, and neither can Dusa. I'm uh, sorry, uh, Elder, <laughs> Elder Titan, Earth Spirit. Yeah. Uh, I think Elder Titan is like destined to just like farm up a couple items first. Like he doesn't even have his phase boots here yet. So him rotating in there, it's, his spells are already delayed. Oh no, not again! Junkie, you, you got to get something. A chance? They get no one. That's what's needed. But can they get anything else afterwards? Snakeo and Roger give up the chase. So the Viper lives through that second round. I mean, if he dies right there, that's like, that's curtains, you know. Mm -hmm. Hey, Crit told me you're never allowed to use the urn as a heal. Really? <laughs> I've heard him say that several times. Maybe that doesn't count in pro matches. No, definitely not. Anytime everyone asks him for a heal, he says never. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. That guy knows how to play Earth Spirit. He's just trying to put out bad info, and that way, you know, nobody else can take over his title. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, only level five, but uh, no cares. Three points in the boulder smash. He's a lot of damage right now, but he only gets one shot. He doesn't get it. Chase. Snake goes there. Resolution dies to no one in the bottom lane. Good rotation. So both mids leave their lanes to gank. Only one gets the kill. And Roger. Yeah, he just got tornado EMP'd. Now gets level six before 10 minutes on this freaking lion. This guy's looking good. Yeah, played a lot in the lane up top. Uh, also, just getting around for these kills, surviving uh, around the mid tower, getting the uh, the stun off too. Now getting some wards down. Roger having a hell of a time. Navi, all right. So clearly things are looking very good for Navi right now. And uh, I think the scariest part is that no one will also be reaching in towards that spirit vessel soon too. So his damage is going to be quite overwhelming. Oh, the juke from Roger. That's probably going to give away his ward. Yeah, definitely. Get out though. Can they find the kill? Nope, they're not gonna. All right, here it is. Oh, <laughs> yeah, instantly gone. Instantly tipped. <laughs> I mean, I don't know who's better in that instance. It's like you give up Should've your- Should've tanked the roll, dude. Yeah, maybe you a know? little bit. That's the big brain. Die for my ward. Of course, then they de-ward anyway. Probably. That's the way that stuff goes. 2,000 gold lead already for Na'Vi. Granted, this is with the Doom in the game. That's sort of what this hero is supposed to do. Already has the Midas done on Ramses, um, mm -hmm. but I don't know. I feel like there's a reason this hero just keeps on getting banned out. Ramses is probably going to have a really good game. Oh, I love those early BKB builds, too. I mean, b before people bought Midas, it was like maybe drums and then BKB out of the mid lane. You see it at like 12, 13 minutes. Right. But even now, Ramses is going to have this really early. And Seneco, a uh, very underrated aspect of ABBA is the ability to push towers really early to position five. Mm. It's a crazy amount of damage. Ooh, Ramses though, he's dead. Resolution goes down, and can they get Ramses in turn as well? Maledict hit, needs another one. Is it gonna be enough damage? Didn't no, have the fairy fire. Fine. Oh my God. <laughs> it was like nine issues, fairy fire wasn't in yet. Holy moly. Yeah, I guess they didn't have the tome on Lil or he already used it and did get it. I thought he was gonna death ward him and he was dead, but he's not six yet. Young G. Taking a lot of damage there. They have the Viper Strike still if they want to get it out, but the stun and the finger takes him down. Just mm, like Zayats that. Zayats was out of mana. He couldn't get the pull off for the silence on the finger. Reapplying Magnetize. Seneco's still holding on to that Aphotic Shield. Throws it out now. Another round. Dude, this Magnetize has done so much damage. Cask? They keep going. 
Resolution wants to chase down for more. Can they get Seneko? They will. Yo, that was like three applications of Magnetize. That was wild. Yeah. And uh, an Elder Titan coming in that early, too. So not only getting, obviously, the aura bonuses, but the important thing is that uh, E.T. is getting early kills. Yeah. Because uh, this hero wants a snowball, right? You, you want to get, like, Aghanims and Echo Saber and just start smacking people. Maybe even SNY these days because it's so good, mm. depending on, like, how many heals are on your team. There's a lot of options because it feels like Brawly items uh, have been kind of broken for a little while. So any game where you can fit this hero in, it, uh, it makes sense that you'd want to. What do you think of S and K? Is that a thing or is that not a thing? I feel like you just want the movement speed. I don't okay. think you need the Kaya. Right. Need the right clicks, you know? I just want to see a big old stomp or splitter. <laughs> it's probably Fair. not worth it. Probably not. Uh, just buy all three, you know? Do there we still have Trident? Does that even exist still? I mean, in custom games, I think that's yeah. about it. Yeah, that's true. You can still get in your demo mode, right? You know, yeah. that's fine. True enough. Yeah, it's a buy a trident. I'm sure, that's fine. Well, maintaining this gold lead right now is going to be Navi. And they don't have that BKB done yet for Ramses, but it does sort of provide us that feeling that, like, when, the, when these items come out, this is going to be such a sick timing from Navi. You got to be careful. You've been just AFK farming the whole time. It's what you need. I feel like I haven't seen Kuman in forever as well. Doing his thing uh, close to the Manta here. Got some Ancients going for another stack. Very well done at the same time. Yeah, Seneko doing his thing. Oof. So waiting on alarm. my Death Ward smoke. Oh, Rezo though, okay. That's quite the stack on the Radiant Jungle. Yeah. Doesn't have his Cleave talent yet, obviously. <laughs> but... You know, almost there, just 12 levels away. Yeah, he's almost there, definitely. Yeah. And then in the meantime, everybody's just comfortable sitting back AFK farming. I mean, the gold lead is being built continuously. v just sort of getting these stacks up there. I guess when Medusa finishes off her round of stacks, too, that will help a little bit. But I mean, I even if you're splitting the map 50 50, it's still just going to go up for Navi because of Doom. Right. That's fair. Oh, smoke pops there. That ward is uh, going to be realized, I believe, by Zayats. Yeah, potentially. I mean, he might have just thought that he was coming up there, and then when the smoke broke, they ran away. True. Yeah. Not the most common ward spot either, since the pillar was removed. Yeah. Oh, tornado. Lift up there. On to Lil. Oh, that's so juicy. He, he wanted it, right? Yeah. That like, was really you see these close. heroes clumped up as Witch Doctor? You're like, oh, I've almost got cast back. Oh, uh, I don't know. Yeah. Frustrating, I'm sure. Dude, Alacrity V2 now. Oh, yeah, but look at Ramsey's BKB Doom. So, yeah, please contest me. Take I dare my you. day. <laughs> <laughs> Stomp comes out again. Ramsey's, he's looking oh, for it. Oh, man. Oh, he's in some trouble. He couldn't get the silence. And it was BKB'd, muted, dead. No chance at nothing. Zayat still doing a good amount of damage, even through that BKB. Is it going to be enough? Do they have enough to clean up the rest of them? Stomp comes out, connects onto both. They're trying to turn onto Vtune and get the kill, but it's just not gonna happen. The disarm comes from no one. And one by one by one, Hellraisers are denied. Damn, he made that look so easy. Actually just walked up and doomed him. And he tanked like 12, 1400 damage or something. And then plus on top of all the heals, they just, everything was put onto this Doom and he just walked away after already casting Doom. So pretty much worst case scenario to start your fight as Hellraisers. And uh, then they lose their tier one tower. There's a 6k lead for Na'Vi now. And Hellraisers need to find some sort of a uh, giant play to get back into this one. And unfortunately their offlaner is an ET. Yeah. I mean, if they all just stand there and get stomped, it's pretty good, but. Mm. That's uh, it's not replicatable. Oh. This is a pressured smoke. They're 30 seconds from Death Ward and Magnetize, and they're smoking in here. This is what we call the no bueno smoke. Man, not we'll good. See. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm tending to agree with you, but if they can catch no one, I'll oh, scan too. Oh man. Yes. Yeah, Roger. He realizes he's gonna get out of there. So will no one, and. I mean, at the very least, they're going to be able to pressure this side of the map, potentially. I mean, can they get a tier two tower off of it? It doesn't look like they're just backing out immediately. They're going to go mid. I don't know. This that is was tough. a bold smoke, too. They were trying to, like, intercept any sort of potential plays on Takuman while he pushes through that wave. So, I mean, they've secured that part. Now they can rotate mid and try and pressure the tower. 
Because they also know there's no Doom, right? So that's what they're trying to play around right now. Oh, I got him with the EMP, though. So frustrating. Good choice from Lil, though. It's a bit pricey as a Witch Doctor, but the Arcanes are really nice this game. You have a Medusa, and they have EMP. Yeah. You know what else is also pretty good against, uh, or with Medusa, is Holy Locket. It's like, mm -hmm. if you know, she loses all that mana uh, just from taking damage. She pop it on her, she can get the ulti off. Pretty nice. Yeah, that's true, actually. Well, Midas picked up for Invoker, so they're winning the early game. 6,000 gold lead right now by Navi. They're absolutely cooking. And on top of that, they're securing their late game with the double Midases again. I mean, I said I wanted to see regular Dota, and I think we're seeing why Hellraisers didn't want to play it against them, because Navi look really freaking good. They do indeed, and uh, it just gets worse and worse here. So you'll see the net worth drop a little bit. That's because they're busy fighting the Roche right now. Uh, Rezo does get out what's happening, or at least uh, presumably by the positioning of Roger. But Roger, again, just throwing away his life. He does it on the end. She does it on the Willow, and he'll do it on the Lion. I am providing vision. And Vtune gets the Aegis. Well played. Navi. Easy, Papa. Looking super good. Yeah. This is, uh, you know, we talk about how there are comeback heroes in Dota, and they do not currently possess many on the side of Hellraisers, or rather any, I suppose. You know, <laughs> Viper notoriously win lane, lose game. I don't think it works in the reverse if you lose the lane either. I don't, I don't think that means that you're just going to win the game somehow. So that's a bit rough. Elder Titan relies, I mean, to be fair, Elder Titan relies on you being aggressive. So, you know, maybe he gets the turnaround play, but it's also fairly easy to, uh, to play around. I feel like this when, is when that's the only initiation. This is like every Elder Titan core game I've ever seen. It's like you have yeah. two components of an Aghanims and the game is just over. It's like, what, what the hell do you do now? Apparently, pause. Take a moment to think about it. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out. As, thank you, Slacks, for joining the broadcast briefly. Always nice uh, to hear that voice in my ear. I know, he's a genius. Just He had to find his way in. <laughs> he probably petitioned Val for this. He's like, hey, how come I don't get voice lines just because I'm not a caster? Right. Like, Aha, I'll just start my own team and then convince Valve to add team voice packs. Suns fan, Suns fan his way in there too. That's not amazing. a coincidence, guys. Yeah. That's a good point, actually. Holy moly. What a Yeah, they know what they're doing. Smart guys. He doesn't even have a team, and no. somehow he did the four Zoomer pack. We need mm -hmm. to bring the Suns fan as a verb back. I think that, that that's something that's been missing that's the last he did. year. Yeah, he did. Dude, he was just at a major. What do you think? He has been <laughs> Suns fanning, all right? Now wait till the TI talent announcement. I know, it's going to be crazy. Suns fan. It's actually just going to be like 20 <laughs> pictures of Suns fan. Just that one picture, but 20 times. You all know Val the finally I'm communicates. About. We saw several Reddit posts recommending Suns fan for the international. <laughs> Due to the increasing health risks in the world, we decided to bring a fewer, you know, fewer talent in a smaller list, and so we've decided to just bring Suns fan. <laughs> I like this. This is great. Yeah, they can put a mirror there. He basically just talks to himself the whole time anyway. Cinder never listens. So true. I, I think it makes a lot of sense. You know, the, the other thing that you could do with that, too, is that, you know, we've got some some AR stuff, right? Augmented reality. You could just sort of put him into the game now. Just replace one of the heroes. 20 Suns fans on the field at once. I like it. I mean, his face is already there with the sprays. That's true. So, oh, God. We're, we're it's already there. happened. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Back into the game now is the pause. I'm just wondering when Dota became 10v10. Uh, I think you've been playing a few to make custom games. Listen, there, Trent, I don't want to hear it, okay? We've got <laughs> some problems math. with math. It's it's uh, well, work oh again. It's 10.30. I thought it was earlier in the morning than this. <laughs> yeah, that, that excuse really doesn't work. No. We're getting set up uh, over looks here. Looks like... Uh, it's uh, it's not early for, for Navi and Hellracers. You know, they, they're quite tuned in at this point. Uh, Navi especially, they've woken up come game three. That's it. not as tight as the previous match. And they're just looking to protect v team with his Aegis. Roll in, find one. Good silence afterwards. And now the cast Oscar bouncing. Cast. This looks good right here for Hellraisers if they can follow up afterwards. Already dead. Now Kuman comes in afterwards. Sineko down so low. They're trying to bring down v to get him. One life. Now, can they do a round two of this? 
I mean, we just talked about Nobby yes. doing good stuff, but I think Ramses is dead also. A double kill for Resolution. v Tune just tries to wait for him to get the hell out of here, but they're all dying. What in the hell just happened? We, we were a uh, caster curse. That's what it was. Oh, my God. I think so, yeah. I think uh, tactically, they... Uh... They pause the brains a little bit there on Navi, and, uh, and honestly, the roll-in from Zayat, like, the initiations are very difficult this game. Uh, it's all counting on him getting the good rolls, and he hit the Invoker. It's the perfect target because the Aegis was on the Morphling, and it sets up for that follow-up from the uh, Elder Titan as well as the Cask, you know? Cask can be one of the most broken abilities, and notice what he did. Lil maxed it. That is not usual. You know what else right? is not usual is, is Zayat's three points in silence. The fact that he caught that ABBA on the other side of it with it as well. Like that, if you, if you know, you don't silence the ABBA right there, then you just shield the invoker. You walk away, mm -hmm. dude, well, devastation. Crazy. And Ramsey's just like waddled in there. BKB and is like, I don't think I want to doom this fight anymore. <laughs> uh, and then he just got blown up from the aura. Uh, he just got punched to death from Rezo as well as uh, some arrows flung in there from Q, man. And immediately no one queues up the BKB. <laughs> He's just like, I'm done with this. I got my Midas. I just need to be able to cast my spells and then everything will be fine. Uh, but it does sort of speak to a window that you might have for Hellraisers now before those BKB comes out where you can make some stuff happen. I think that hurts Snako's feelings a little bit. It's like, oh, you think you need the BKB now? You don't, you don't <laughs> trust me? And this cracks. is where it starts, you know? The cracks, cracks are forming. <laughs> Dude, I will say that these are two of uh, the, the most passionate teams, I would say, in Eastern Europe as far as their play stuff. Rezo just got Agnums. Trent, I don't know. Right, let's go. It's There's online. Uh, the that... dial-up, it was a little slow, but he has arrived. I mean, it's still got to just be so hard to deal with Ramsey's late game, though. Right? This guy's insane. Well, as I'm saying that, he oh actually gets God, slapped. Actually clipped him. Yeah, safe, though. All right, well, that's a wasted ulti, unfortunately. Also, good to note, we didn't talk about it. Does he have that, that hand? I don't think he does. He doesn't have no, the Immortal. No, he doesn't. Yeah. Unbelievable. I got tempted into a core ET game in that Nemesis. It was good. Okay. I mean, I guess everyone's a core in Nemesis, but it was fun. Yeah. Quality hero. I don't think it's Nemesis. I'm pretty sure that's something else. Nemesis? That's what I was going for. Oh, Stist. I thought you said Sis. I just yeah. don't listen to you, Trent. That's a problem. My bad. I, I understand that. That's because you're my nemesis. <laughs> you Mr. Clever Guy. I I try. Try. Really I hard. Yeah, it's really kind of depressing. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I did like the Echo Saber. I did, you know, I could feel the power. I knew that was the item you were supposed to buy. And I was like, all right, well, let's see how this feels. And picked it up. I'm like, okay, yeah, this is definitely the item. So it works 100% uh, with this hero. And then, of course, later on, you do get the cleave talent. It's a great feeling. Um, Eosin currently, I believe, observing from the International Space Station. How's it doing up there, bud? Perfect. Pretty good. Love yeah. to see it. Getting a good grasp of the situation. He's actually just trying to give you guys what Zayat's uh, point of view is. Yeah, he hasn't left that hill for a little bit. He's he's the ward now. Thank you. Good. That's great. I, I appreciated it. They're doing a really good job protecting this stuff. I don't know. To me, at least, it feels like Hellraisers might want to get aggro again. Just waiting for that next set of items. Oh, there's the smoke. All right. That and uh, and probably Roach, too, is uh, starting to form into both teams' heads, right? It's like, okay, no one has the Aegis right now, so let's start trying to get vision around this area. If they can get vision inside that Radiant Triangle, that's always so good for prepping. Yeah. That's where they're off to. Well, it just goes for a, a sentry to start. <sighs> Down obs. Oh, is it outside? It is outside that sentry in the river. Oh, this is huge. That's how they won that last fight, too, is all that great vision which allowed them to get that perfect initiation as we are going to see the mid tower survive. Kuman's queuing up that, that Aghanim shard next too. the, the cold blooded is very solid uh, with all these heroes that you've got, like almost all of them have some form of like single target damage. They're trying to do. Yeah, they can't really avoid it. All I'm going to say is if Seneko, Seneko miscoils the Medusa, I'm going to lose it. Like the anti-value. <laughs> Just don't do that. Got yeah. it. DD run here. Are they going to try and get aggro with this? God, they're so close to getting this Aghanim shard too. 50 gold away. Well, the thing is, it's bottled now, right? So they can actually just try and hold for Roche. That's true. Quick deny. deny yeah. yeah. Good, good. 
I mean, what's this next timing that Navi are looking for? Is it just waiting for the BKBs pretty much and then they're going to try yes. and go? Yeah, just BKB on the Invoker, ideally. I don't even think you need a lot of V-Tune. I, I just think that the fights are really hard for no one to play. Um, the Shiva's Guard is going to be insanely strong for Ramses too. Uh, yeah. Not only because it's going to give the armor versus the ET, like the flat base, that so you don't have to worry about it being reduced, but mostly I think it's just the vision. You just want to make sure you get off good dooms. And uh, it also sets up really well for Roger as well. Like He has the Aether, no blink, so uh, it's harder for him to mobilize. And so it's really important that he knows exactly where the heroes are. Right, absolutely. Get that good angle of the uh, stuns coming out from him. Oh, Snake was a gem. Okay. Wow, he just got that duo oh, around the pit oh. and has a fight up top. Zayats didn't actually get hit by that. Magnetize comes out. Ramses down to about half HP, but they're going to back away now. Hellraisers, can they get the clean disinitiation? Oh, it's a 90 second roast spawn. So he's going to have the, uh, the stone gaze back up by then. That's huge. Dude, are they really thinking about going back in on this? The wraparound's well, they coming. They still see the invoker. Like I think they saw him bottom still for a second, so they, they might be just trying to say, like, listen, if oh. you're not going to fully defend. And he was TPing, but he canceled the TP, so he has to run back up here. Oh, heads up play from Hellraisers. Good call, Trent. Easy life. All right, so that uh, reduces their grip on Roche a little bit. Not too brutal for Navi, but uh, very helpful. I'd say that was a worthy use of the uh, stone gaze. And now, what are they trying to do on Navi's side? They just kind of run around in circles in the river under a ward here from Hellraisers. Hmm. Now, very interesting. Tornado is going to get a I can't believe that there. hit. That's wild. But no BKB. There's uh, no BKB. Is he dead? No BKB. In some trouble. Resolution runs into all of them. Tons of damage out. The doom comes. But is it going to be enough? Obviously going to be able to keep that Astral Spirit off well, of them, kick. but they kill Ramses and roll in on top of no one. His BKB down too. It all fell apart for Navi. Man, have they just gotten too passive? Or, or maybe, I guess, too aggressive. Like the, Their choices of when to get aggressive have been a little bit poor there. Like That was all just trying to tornado a haste rune off a of Witch Doctor. Yeah. And it turns into a, uh, a kill on two of your more important cores right now. Well, I guess two of your least important cores if I do some quick math there, considering Morphling is the most important. <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> Roger has gone in really deep here and gotten a great ward down. So that is a positive sign for Navi. Dude. Before TP's out. And now you've got, like, this this Roche, which is, I mean, they don't have Doom for it, so I think they just get this, right? Yeah. This is a very risky play if you want to come in on this as Na'Vi. I'm not even sure how you would do it. I guess Tornado plays can always set up for something potentially, but uh, there's no way you're going to be there in time. They've scattered out with the Sunstrike. They know what's happening. Man, I was flaming. Yeah, this is, I love these moments, though. Look, they're like, we know what's happening. It's yep. still not over. Should I Tornado uh, in here? The Tornado guys, goes out, dodges so away. This, guys. EMP as well. Dude, Roche is so low. BK, 900 HP. In. Ramses, he goes in for the stun, but he didn't connect. He didn't beat He's going to drop. Oh, no. Ramses, he falls. They get the Aegis on cool, man. That was the worst possible way it could have gone. Oh, in the Yeah, tips. yeah. That's tips. Dude. Why, why didn't he pre-BKB? Oh. Don't ask me, Trent. I can't tell you the answer to questions that don't have answers. <laughs> Dude. All right. Well, at least he didn't doom because he didn't have it, so that's good. You know, you he'll go. still have that in 30 seconds. The bright side. Uh, he didn't get anything, did he? No, I don't think so. Yo. I, and again, like, oh, God, the roll in. Zayat's found him. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Down low, v tune, able to survive, held on to, man, to held on to BKB, held on to everything. But I, again, I was like, I was flaming Zayat's Earth Spirit earlier and, and how he was playing from the games the other day. But it, like that play earlier to get the silence on and like make that stuff happen, it's completely pulled Hellraisers back into this. And now they're in the lead pretty substantially. Yeah. This game was 100% on him. Like he, he was the only hero that can set up for the way they come back into this game with that initial fight after the pause. And then his kick is also the reason that Ramsey's died in that river fight too. Oh, and the roll down too. Gets the follow up to try and finish there, but he's got to run. Cool man, still trying to just be this wall in front of everybody else. The right click's coming through. They drop down the sentry. Sleep is there, gets the Maledict. No one slowly but steadily pops the BKB, wants to get away, but it's not gonna happen. Oh, man, explodes. Dude, 
that freaking amplified damage, unbelievable. Yeah, and uh, part of what's making this so easy for Zyas is that he has the shard too, right? So you can do some really tricky stuff with the vision as well as the additional stones. So you, you can uh, be a little bit more liberal with your usage of them. Oh, pretty stuff coming in right here. Three Actually, shards of gold lead. Yeah, I think it's a very underrated shard, especially when you're trying to go high ground or or like fight around the Roche pit because the vision from the stones is just something you don't really think about and it's not something you can play around because you can't do anything about them, right? You can't de-ward them. Yeah. You can't like punch or kick them yourselves unless he goes for the massive brain play of Agonims on Vtune. Aha! Well, they, oh wait, he doesn't need Agonims. He's on the enemy team. All right, he can just morph into the Earth Spirit and kick the stones out of his base. Perfect. Glorious. I like that. Just That's what the he next needs. level play. Yeah. To be fair, if that happens, I mean, I don't know if it's, uh, I, I don't know. I'm not sure if it, anything, like. Uh, oh, look, there he is. <laughs> you go to kick a stone, they see you, you Exactly. Die, you know? It's still a problem. I think the biggest problem is just how much net worth this cool man Medusa has on him now and also has the Aegis. They smoke behind and then going to go for the wraparound play. Yo, Ramses is punching a catapult. You got to run, dude. <laughs> Oh my god. They saw him punch the catapult. Now he's farming this camp. Can they catch up to him? Look where Kuman is. Yeah. They think they're all lurking right behind that Medusa. This man That's plays this poker. Was that was a huge bluff. Yeah, it really was. Oh, oh Zyas finds a couple. Oh, the silence is there. Throws out the stun. Tries to TP away. Yeah, I wish I told he's not going to do enough. Seneko also manages to escape. Man just pulls out and comes down to the bottom lane with now the uh, finished up Daedalus here. So able to skip the BKB for a while thanks to the Aegis. They have the outpost. They're going to push this bottom lane. And then, yeah, they're going high ground. How many stones do we have? Nine stones. Oh, yeah, baby. Let's go get some vision. Go slap. Kick some stones up there, Zayats. Let me see what's going on. Well, they're going to have buybacks on a lot of their heroes for Radiant now. They don't have it on Doom. Don't have it on Lion. But this high ground defense is going to have to hold out. And good EMP Tornado with the stun. Oh, cool man. Mantas. That barely touched her mana. Yeah, that's crazy. She got a, yeah, she got a snake out from the cold blooded. So it just canceled out the EMP. Oh, that's really annoying. That's got to <laughs> <that's gotta> suck. <laughs> oh, I think also it was uh, Lil cast the uh, Holy Locket on him maybe as well. Oh, He's down to four charges. Hero. Yeah. The heel comes out, keeps on throwing the snake. The slow and steady beatdown continues. So frustrating to play against. They're going to get the yeah. sleep now onto the lion. Now they can see everyone with him up on the high ground. Zyas is just waiting for his moment. That's right. Mantas wasn't able to dodge it, but still, I mean, he's got 2,400 mana. Does not care. Snako calls out the smoke. I don't know really what he oh, is that he wants go. to do. Yeah, no, they're going to smoke because the Aegis is uh, going to end soon. So they okay. want to smoke for that timing. They're looking for that perfect moment where uh, Kuman plays a little bit too cocky, thinking he still has it. Zayats would be a good kill. Oh, no, he rolled forward five, with that one. Five seconds. They go. There's the Can Medusa. Fight? Tornado off the mark. Roger finds that hex. Kuman walking forward. Going to go for the ulti. Walks into all of them, but the Aegis is down. Roger gets low. Oh, they found him. They caught no one. Kicks him back. Tries to get this. The Doom is out now. Is it going to be enough damage? Do they have enough to take him down? D-Tune continues to beat oh, down don't. into him, but there's too much damage coming out from all of the dire heroes. Resolution walks in. Double kill for this Elder Titan as they run down the face of Na'Vi. Triple kill for E.T. As no one now also in trouble. Can they kill them all off? I think they will. Hellraisers win a beautiful fight. And no one is not coming back right now. No buyback available. Dude. They, they're going for it. They're calling they, for they're it. Ending? They want to move in. They're in the upper bracket finals if they can win this game. But the buyback comes from more. All inning this tower. They're not dissuaded. Lions back up in a second. Can they hold off long enough? Is this too greedy Dude, this from Hellraiser? So greedy. Dude, they're hanging on to the Doom buyback as well. There comes the buyback immediately. Zayas down low, but not dead. Figure, they kill him. Okay, that's one. Buyback comes immediately afterwards. Now Ramsey's getting chased down, getting killed. Kuman's still very alive. Young G losing a lot of the mana. Gets broken, gets chased, but not dead. That's a dieback from the Doom. They don't have anything left. The chase continues as Hellraiser's focus on taking oh, down the cool. rest of them. One more to fall. Seneko's dead. He has buyback, though. Can they keep the... No! He switched no. down! Oh, he went to freaking Agi. GG? And he dies. 
Hellraisers will take the game. Pulling it back from the jaws of defeat with the Cool Man Rampage. Pretty as can be. Oh, man. Man, that's uh, <laughs> ever since that pause. This whole Dude. game just got completely turned around. It uh, there was like a little mental reset there, and Hellraisers they they found that play. I, you got to go back to Zayats, honestly. I mean, everyone else gets to have a lot of glory there, <laughs> particularly Rezo and, and Kuman in those fights. The big damage sweeping out there, but Zayats played spectacularly this match from the initiations in the into fog is also finding no one. No one's game ended in that team fight top. <laughs> it did. He didn't do anything after that. Oh, like God. seriously, did he? I feel like he bought a BKB and still just kept dying. He just kept getting caught over and over and over again on no one. Um, and that last one was like a blind roll in by Zayats that managed to catch him. Like if he doesn't hit that roll, this game probably goes another 20 minutes or something. But damn, what a freaking fight. And Hellraisers managed to take it over Na'Vi. Um, I, I felt like Na'Vi had that one. God, right in their fingers. Yeah. It really seemed that way. Things were going so well for them, and they weren't able to uh, to get the close out there. Very impressive stuff, considering the heroes they had in Hellraisers. Uh, certainly heroes that you can't uh, get too, uh, again, too cocky versus, frankly, because that's what ET does. It punishes you uh, when you get a little bit too clumped, a little bit too aggressive, and uh, one quick turn. Man, little skill build, too. Maxing the cask. That's yeah. some big brain stuff. You do not see that, and, and it worked out exceptionally well here for them. So that uh, that's going to send them, as you said, to the upper bracket finals, uh, I believe, here in our qualifier. Yeah, and they're going to face off against one of Team Spirit or Puck Champ going forward. Meanwhile, Hellraisers, uh, they're going to have another battle out of the lower bracket. Thankfully, they think that they're going to have a day off, um, but they're going to be facing off against the winner of Team Empire versus Team Unique. So more of that stuff to come. Uh, we're going to break it all down at the panel in just a few, but for now, we're going to go a quick break. See you on the other side of it.